One of the things I think people are really challenged by when you are selling your home, which you love, is finding the right agent to represent you. And it's a bit like finding an architect. How do you find the right architect that's going to bring your vision? How do you actually, what's the best process by which to select the right agent that's going to represent you? A lot of people still judge their agent on what they've sold in the area. These days the market has totally and utterly changed where you have an idea of what your house is worth. A purchaser has an idea of what a yeah. house should be worth. So you look yeah. it all up on the internet Absolutely. today. Yeah. So you don't need an area specialist anymore. So I look at choosing an agent about actually like dating. So if you went on a date with someone and you felt comfortable with them, you would have a second date. Yeah. After the second date, you would make a decision on whether you wanted to continue that relationship with that person. So I believe choosing an agent's like dating. Take your house out of it for a moment and actually see how you feel with the person. And then obviously look at their marketing, check that it's going to suit your area, check it's going to suit your style of property. But you're entrusted with this person and that could be for four weeks, it could be six weeks, it could be six months, mm -hmm. depending on the property to mm -hmm. sell your home. Yeah. So you're actually in a relationship with this person and you've got to have that dating process to actually get there. Where if you go, listen, what have they sold? Well, they might have sold quite a few in the area, but they might have sold them well. And you don't like this person, so you've got the emotion going on, and someone's annoying the hell out of you, called your agent. So you've got to have an agent you actually just feel really comfortable yeah. with. And then when the emotional days happen, you actually trust they're giving you the right advice because you've built that trust and you've built a relationship. So it's best then to go to their open homes and see them on the job, talking to people, getting a bit of an idea of exactly. how they respond to people, how they interact, and to you, and, and get a feel for it. So if you've got, a, say, three that you're looking at, just really do the research first and exactly. spend that time. Exactly. Pop them on your couch at home. Ooh. Sit. Maybe that way. <laughs> but pop them on the couch and sit down and have a chat with them yeah. and see how you feel. It's like going yeah. to a dinner party. You yeah. sat at a dinner table with six people yeah. and you know two of them and you don't know the other four. By yeah. the end of the dinner party, you have a good idea of the yeah. ones you actually want to chat more to. Yeah, yeah. And pick the one you want to chat more to. Yeah, I like it.